السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. مستر إدريس، I want you to tell me what was the first time you were touched by Islam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The first time I was touched by Islam was when I came to Egypt. Yes. Before I came to Egypt. What I knew about Islam was what everyone in the West knows about Islam. It comes from the television. I knew that Muslims were terrorists, and that they chopped your hand, and that they were cruel to ladies, and that Islam was about suicide bombers and very bad things. So I came, I came These to... These are what you hear from uh, media. Uh, television, yes. newspaper, radio, every day. Yes. This is what we hear all the time. And mm -hmm. since September the, the 11th, it's worse and worse and worse. Yes. Now, I left, I left the priesthood. I used to be a Roman Catholic priest. Yeah. And when I left the priesthood, I, I was feeling very down. Mm. So I decided to come on holiday. Mm. So I looked on the internet where I'd get a good holiday. And it came up with Egypt. So I came to Egypt. Yeah. I came to Egypt not knowing about Muslims. Yes. Not knowing Egypt. And I arrived thinking there'll just be sand and pyramids and palm trees. And I came for a week. Yeah. And that week was the most extraordinary week in my life. Yes. Because for the first time, I saw ordinary, simple, sweet Muslims. Mm. And I said to myself, but these aren't the people I've seen on the television. Mm -hmm. These are not the people that the, the, the radio tells me about. These, these are not fanatics and extremists. They're just ordinary people, yeah. but who are very religious. And for example, in, in the main station in Cairo, mm. when the call to prayer sounded, I was astonished to see ordinary men just going down on their knees and praying. Mm. And it really touched my heart to seeing, just seeing in the street, a little boy selling bananas. Yes. And he'd greet you with, assalamu alaikum. Yeah. And you ask him, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Well, I'd never seen that before. Mm -hmm. I've never seen people in England or in France or in America mm -hmm. with such a deep faith that, that's in their veins. Yeah, it touched your heart. It touched deeply. my heart, yes. absolutely. I'd never seen anything like it before. Mm -hmm. And so instead of these Muslimin being washin, I saw washin. that they were very, very... <laughs> Taibin, kind ah, people. Taibin, yes. Halloween, Halloween, <laughs> didn't they? Halloween. So what happened then to make you declare shahada? Well, in London, there's a big mosque, London yeah. Central Mosque. Yes. And every Saturday, they have talks for non-Muslims. Information. Yes. So I went along for information, not to become Muslim, for mm. information. Mm -hmm. And each Saturday, I, I listened about Islam, and I, I began to like it more and more. And the last Saturday I went, there was a speaker, Yusuf Islam. Yes, Very famous we know him. speaker, Cat Stevens. Yeah. And at the end of his talk, I went to him and said, Brother Yusuf, mm -hmm. what does a person do to become Muslim? I don't want to be Muslim. But just what does a person do? He said, well, Muslims believe in one God. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, well, I believe in one God. And he said, Muslims pray five times a day. I said, I yes, know. <laughs> I know the prayers in Arabic, I know them. Yeah. So he was very surprised. He said, ah, and, and Muslims pray during Ramadan. I said, well, actually, I fasted with, they fast in Ramadan. I said, well, actually, I fasted with the boys in Ramadan. And mm -hmm. he looked me in the eyes and he said to me, who are you trying to fool? Mm. And at that moment, the Adan sounded and we all went upstairs for Salat al-Maghrib. And while everyone prayed Salat al-Maghrib, I sat at the back mm -hmm. of the mosque, sat yes. at the back of the prayer hall, 
and the prayer began and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really touched my heart mm -hmm. and I cried and I cried and I cried as the prayer went on and at the end of the prayer I went up to Yusuf Islam yes. and I said brother Yusuf I want to declare shahada now so in front of him and all of the other brothers present in the in the mosque I declare there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah mm -hmm. and it changed كم عدد الأقباط الذين تركوا المسيحية بجملتها خلال هذه الحقبة من الزمن؟ إلى أين ذهب؟ الغالبية العظمى تركوا المسيحية وأشهروا إسلامهم والنسبة الأقل تركوا الكنيسة الأرثوذكسية وهربوا إلى الطوائف الإنجيلية بحثا عن الرعاية الروحية التي افتقدوها ده خلال قد ايه ده خلال حقبة طولها 36 سنة يعني انت بتركز على البابا شنودة وفكرته انا ماليش دعوة بشخص البابا شنودة معلوماتك منه انا لي دعوة ب... ب... بواقع شعبي اللي, اللي انا آ... عايز آ... اقدم له خدمة آه هذا السي دي اللي هديه لحضرتك هو تسجيل صوتي لاجتماع اللجنه التي راسها الانبا باخوميوس مطران البحيره وحضرها الانبا موسى صديق العمر الفاضل وحضرها انبا موسى اسقف الشباب اسقف الشباب آه آه دلوقتي انبا موسى بيقف قدام الميكروفونات يقول لك آه اصلاح ايه اللي بتقولوا عليه الكنيسه مش محتاجه اصلاح حضرها وبصوته وحضرها وتكلم بصوته وانا اعرف صوته جيدا الاب اناستاس الصموئيلي وايضا اسقف من المعادي اسمه الانبا دانيال ما اعرفوش واخر وهذه اللجنه بالصوت اللي حضرتك تقدر تحطه دلوقتي على لا طبعا انا لازم اتحقق الاول ايه ده عشان تسمعه بتقول أن عدد الذين يشهرون إسلامهم يوميا يتراوح بين 80 و200 شخص 80 و200 شخص و200 شخص بالصوت أهو وإذا ما إذا ما كانش ممكن إن السي دي ده يتسمع دلوقتي على البرنامج ده طبعا ما أقدرش أحب. إحنا ممكن نسمعه لأي حد عايز يسمعه على السايت بتاعنا من من 80 ل 200 شخص وانتهت هذه اللجنه برئاسه الانبا باخوميوس وعرفت بلجنه الانبا باخوميوس الى ان عدد الذين يشهرون اسلامهم سنويا في مصر في المتوسط 50 الف شخص لو ضربت 50 الف شخص في مده طولها 36 سنه لا ما مش مش ال 50 الف طول ال 36 سنه يعني طيب لو ضربتها في 36 سنة هيبقى مليون وثمانية من عشرة هنقول انه مش بالظبط كده خمسين هنقول انه مليون وربع على الأقل تركوا المسيحية وأشهروا إسلامهم خلال هذه الحقبة مع العلم أن اللجنة بالصوت على هذا السيدي بتقول أن هؤلاء الذين أشهروا إسلامهم آه مفيش حاجة اسمها خطف آه والناس آه كانت تستطيع أن تقول لا والسي دي أهو. يعني أنت عايز تقول إن في مليون مسيحي و8 من عشرة أسلموا خلال السنوات الماضية؟ نعم. ولم يعودوا مرة أخرى للمسيحية؟ نعم.